It is my pleasure to welcome to the show our own president, Simone Petrella, uh, also joined by the executive director of WESIS, Lynn Dome. Uh, ladies, welcome, and thank you so much for taking the time for us today. Great. Thank you, Dave. So we have an exciting announcement here, and uh, I'm going to let the, the two of you kind of duke it out to see who wants to take the lead here in, uh, in breaking the news. But uh, some interesting going, goings on behind the scenes here between the two organizations. Yeah, so Simone, would you like to share the partnership news with everyone? <laughs> sure. Um, we're look at this. We're already so cordial in our partnership. Um, no, so it's very exciting. N2K uh, will be working with Wesis to, to conduct a skills study of the Wesis professional membership in the organization, and the goal of that study is to actually look at the quantifiable skills across the WESIS professional membership and use that data along with anything we know about their job roles, demographics, contextual information to really provide insight into the state of cybersecurity talent within the WESIS population, which is obviously an area that we have a immense um, impetus to focus on creating more opportunities for diversity and women in particular in the field. Yeah. Lynn, is there anything I missed? <laughs> no, we're just really excited about this partnership because it gives our WESIS members this opportunity to deepen their understanding of their capabilities within the cybersecurity workforce in the roles that they currently have, identify any gaps, strengths, or weaknesses, um, and then also how we could move them forward and build out programming efforts. So as a nonprofit, we're looking at this as the member benefit, which is a significant impact, and for us to have this assessment, but also as a nonprofit, what is our next step? Like, what are the gaps here and what could we do as a programming effort to move it forward to um, build up the skills uh, in, in a higher capacity for our members that we serve? You know, Lynn, I've had the pleasure of attending several of uh, your events, uh, your conferences over the years. Uh, but for folks who aren't familiar with the organization, can you give us a little bit of rundown of uh, what is the mission and what sort of things do you provide for, to your members? Yeah, thanks, Dave. I'm so glad that you're able to attend some of the WESIS events. So we're Women in Cybersecurity. We often go by our acronym WICYS, and we pronounce that WESIS, like we sisters, because we're a global cyber sisterhood. So our mission is to recruit, retain, and advance women in cybersecurity. We started many, many years ago in 2014 as a conference only, because at that time there was a little known little data point that came out that women represented 11% of the cybersecurity workforce. Well, our founder, Dr. Amberine Siraj, who was at Tennessee Tech University at the time, she wasn't seeing even that 11% in any of her circles of industry, academia, or government. And so her idea was, well, if women in cybersecurity exist, let's bring them together to a technical conference where we could learn and grow together. And so that was our very, very beginning 10 years ago, and each and every year that conference continued to grow. But in 2018, when the data, the data didn't change, we were still 11% of the workforce, we realized that there was so much more work that needed to be done. And that's when we formed into a nonprofit organization. And now we offer so many different program offerings and opportunities. But essentially, our mission is to recruit, retain, and advance women in cybersecurity. And we create opportunities and provide accessibility to cybersecurity, um, many different career pathways, and many different offerings within the organization. And so we have folks that are just ever so slightly interested is cyber for them we're saying yes it is and we're creating pathways and accessibility for them to get in and advance through it um, and then all the way to CISOs and, and senior leaders within the profession as they're paying it forward and bringing forward their knowledge and skill set for so many so it's really incredible we have over 90 500 members. We have representation in 95 countries. We have 67 professional affiliates, which are uh, per, uh, extensions of the WESIS global organization. And we have over 250 student chapters. So that's just our community alone. We have lots going on and it's, it's, it's been a great, great journey. Simone, can you give us some details here on, on the cyber talent study itself? I mean, can, can we start with a little bit of background? How does this fit into the types of offerings that N2K provides? Yeah, well, like Lynn said, you know, even when you look at the data that kind of drove this identification back in 2014 of 11%, I think it kind of carries over in the theme that we want to use data 
to help inform, you know, not only for individuals, or in this case, WESIS members, how can they actually look at their own skills and collect data through their own assessment of their skills as it pertains to the critical competencies that are required in cybersecurity job roles? But then how can WESIS as an organization, as a nonprofit, look at that same data at an aggregate level and make some strategic decisions around what type of offerings that they can provide to members moving forward in a more you know, elevated and scaled and sustainable way. And so it really, the study itself is a opportunity for anyone who is a WESIS member to log in and take a diagnostic assessment on the technical skills of cybersecurity. And that covers everything that's in the nice cybersecurity workforce framework, all the specialty areas there. And we're using that information compared to the job roles that those individuals are reporting that they're in and do a gap analysis on where are they in their roles and the level of the roles they're at, and then where are they in their actual performance based on that assessment. And that is meant to provide that overarching barometer to give people the guidance into inform what kind of training they want to pursue if they're looking to level up in the field. What other areas in cybersecurity are potentially of interest, even if it's not an area that they're necessarily working in today, it could be something they want to explore. They want to move laterally. Um, so that's where we're going to use the data to kind of inform the individual. And like I said, that same information, when you look at it in totem, is really critical for any organization and we see as a nonprofit to say, well, where do we see sort of systematic or commonalities with some of those gaps? Should we actually invest in things that are for entry level talent or do we need to have more offerings or more services for people who are, you know, career switching later on in their careers or people who are coming back into the workforce? Because if I remember, Lynn, I know one big focus is a lot of people who are coming back into the workforce after maybe being out of it for some time. So the really the applications are kind of twofold. And, you know, what we're doing is using one bit of data along with the self-reported identification of where people are starting to, to kind of collect that. Lynn, what are you looking forward to in terms of the data that's going to be collected and, and how it's going to help the organization craft those things that you offer? I'm looking forward to all of that and everything above uh, that comes from it. I'm really looking forward to creating this opportunity for our members, for them to have this information for their own professional development. Um, that is a, an, a tremendous value to everyone that takes part in the assessment. But from the strategic side of the nonprofit is we have a development committee and we're gonna be able to take a look at this and really look at what are we hearing from our community, their needs are, compare it to the data that we receive from this type of assessment, see where those gaps are and really be intentional with our focus. So WESIS has done a really good job offering opportunities for many for early in their career, non-traditional career changers, or you know, executive cybersecurity leadership series and summits and offerings in that capacity. But right now we have to be laser sharp and very focused on what's the next growth strategy of the organization and this assessment's gonna help us put that programming in place. Simone, help me understand a few details about the assessment here. I mean, we, you spoke about how it will help someone determine where they stand in terms of their own skills. Is there any opportunity for them to compare themselves against their peers? Is, is that part of this, or is that perhaps something for the, the next round? Well, we can talk about it from a data privacy standpoint, but mm. we do have <laughs> the ability to show someone where they ranked among their peers who take it. So the the opportunity exists for us to explore it, but I think, you know, Lynn, we should probably kind of talk through whether that's information we want to share with, with folks to sort of see where they are from a benchmark perspective against the rest of the population that took it, or whether we want to maybe, you know, do that for the later date. Yeah, fair enough. So how do people get involved here? I mean, Lynn, obviously, uh, you've got your members there at WESIS. If folks want to take part of this, they should uh, find out how to join, yes? Yes, yes, please. If you go to WESIS.org under initiatives, the Cyber Talent Study is the first drop-down under initiatives there. And so they'll receive all the information about um, the assessment and how to sign up for that, and we'll take it from that point on. Yeah. All right. 
And Go I ahead, think it's worth, I think it's worth um, mentioning that we are smack in the middle of the sign up period for that assessment. So um, it runs through uh, sign ups run through February 1st. And anyone who signs up will receive access to that assessment between February 5th and the 18th. And all the details are on the, the WESIS.org website, um, but just so that everyone here has a sense of what they need to do from a time commitment. Yeah, thanks for that, Simone. <laughs> <laughs> I should have shared that too. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Call, call to action. Call to action in timelines. <laughs> It's good to calibrate. Yeah, yeah calibrate deadline coming. Right? <laughs> Sign up by February 1st. Yes, exactly. All right. Excellent. Well, Simone Petrella is N2K's president, and Lynn Dome is the executive director of WESIS. Uh, thank you so much both for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's yeah. a pleasure. Thanks, Dave. This is great.